In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can plot a 3D bubble chart in Excel. Now, this is different from other charts in Excel in the sense that it takes a bit more of a setup process to get it to look exactly how you like. But in the end, you can have yourself a template that you can reuse over and over again, making it a lot easier. For example, here I've got country data showing GDP per capita, life expectancy, and alcohol consumption per capita. So let's say I wanted to plot all these values on a chart just to identify any potential patterns or um, useful insights. If I were to just go to insert chart and under the X and Y scatter, select 3D bubble, none of these look terribly great. Even this one, you know, the problem is I've got too many data points, but if I hover over any one of these values, I don't see what country this relates to. So right off the bat, Excel can't figure out exactly what I'm looking for. And so I'm gonna delete this for now. And one of the things I'm gonna do is filter on the values that I'm actually gonna be using in my chart. So I don't wanna use 170 countries. So I'm gonna copy these headers over. And what I'm instead gonna do is use a lookup. So I'm gonna use United States as my first value and do a simple VLOOKUP, selecting this value, selecting this table. And rather than doing one column at a time, I can use curly brackets here to specify the second, third, and fourth columns. An exact match for false. And now you can see I've created an array. So I can, I can copy this formula down. Let's say I want values from China, uh, Belgium, Canada, Germany, France, Iran, Japan, let's say Morocco. And so I'm gonna copy this down. And now I've got a whole lot more data points. And because this is a lookup, I mean, I can change these values um, on the fly and update my chart. The point is I want some data points and I don't want too many of them. So that way my chart is a lot more useful. So I'll go back to insert select chart and go back to that X and Y scatter 3D bubble chart. It doesn't matter which one I select because I'm gonna modify it anyways. And pull this over here, right click, select data, and I'm gonna remove everything right off the bat. And what I'm gonna do is even though this is a bit tedious to start, I'm gonna plot these uh, data points one at a time. But again, once this is set up, it's gonna be reused over and over again. So for the series name, I'm going to select the country. For the x-axis, I'm going to select the life expectancy. For the y-axis, the consumption per, ca per capita. The bubble size, I'm going to select GDP. And the reason I'm selecting GDP is there's a significant variation in GDP. Life expectancies, there may not be as significant swings in values, even alcohol consumption per, cap per, per capita. But GDP per capita, there's going to be a lot of a lot of variations here. So that's why I'm going to use that as the bubble size. So I've got United States, and now I'm going to plot these other countries as well on here. All right, so now I've got my values. I'm going to expand this out. I'm not going to use the legends just to save some space here. And because if I hover over now, I'll see, you know, what the bubble relates to the, the country and I get the different data points in here. So I can see United States with 59,928. It has the largest GDP per capita, life expectancy of, of 78.86 years and alcohol consumption per capita of 9.19. So it fits roughly around the, uh, the middle of these uh, countries that I've selected. But a couple things I'm gonna adjust here. First, I'm gonna adjust the axis because right now this alcohol consumption goes into the negative. So format axis, and I can change the minimum to zero. By, by default, Excel tries to automatically adjust based on what it thinks or how far it thinks the data might go. Another thing I'll do is under the chart design section here, add chart element and add some axis titles. So start with the horizontal, this will be life expectancy. And then add one for the vertical for alcohol consumption. And you can also add one for 
uh, a title overall. But the point is, you know, now I've got a, a data, a chart that shows me exactly what I'm looking in a bit more detail so I can identify potential outliers. Like for instance, here I've got Morocco, not really big on alcohol consumption. It's life expectancy is about 76, 77 years. And the size of its GDP per capita is relatively small compared to the other ones. Meanwhile, here I've got another potential outlier in Japan, moderate alcohol consumption, very high life expectancy, and uh, a fairly significant uh, GDP per capita as well. And so as I mentioned, you can obviously mix this up a little bit. I can change these values on the fly. Let's say I wanna add, instead of France, I wanna use Cambodia. You know, now my values automatically adjust just because, you know, the values of of these charts kind of can get automatically updated. Like life expectancy, for some reason, Excel automatically adjusted this down to, to zero, but I'm going to modify this so it has a minimum of 60 or maybe even 65 just to spread the data out a little bit more. So Cambodia is this, this, this relatively small point with the the lowest life expectancy on here, low consumption and a small GDP per capita number. So you can see by, by changing um, the elements and the countries that you have in in your data set here, you know, it can it can vary significantly. So if I were to change Canada to Egypt, now I'm gonna have you know more values down here in the in the lower alcohol consumption countries. You know, if for instance, I change Germany to Bolivia. Again, I'm going to have uh, a different setup here. Now Bolivia is over on this side. And now these outliers stand out a little bit more in that Belgium being relatively high in life expectancy, high in alcohol consumption, and high in GDP per capita stands out on this on this chart. But the, the benefit of using a, a VLOOKUP in conjunction with this is I can easily filter this to specify exactly... Um, the different data points that I want to look at and automatically update the chart based on um, uh, different different regions of the world that I want to look at, let's say. So that's how you can create a bubble chart in Excel. Again, one of the challenges is really that first time setup when you're, when you're plotting the X and Y axis and the size of the bubble chart. Just consider, you know, what's going to have the biggest variation and use that as your bubble size and then the other values can be your x and y um x and y values so that way you can have so that way that can allow you to see those variations a lot a lot more easily